Hey guys, here's a short video on osteochondritis, different names of osteochondritis when different bones are involved. Firstly, let us understand what is osteochondritis. So when there is, whenever there is a disruption of blood supply to the osteochondral part of the bone, there occurs ischemia leading to avascular necrosis of that bone called as osteochondritis. So usually the causes for osteochondritis will be trauma or any physical activity uh, leading that stress to the bone, leading to ischemia and uh, necrosis of that part. So we have uh, many names that we need to learn. So I have got you uh, these names from my notes as well as someone has shared this uh, uh, screenshot on the telegram. So I have posted that also. Now let us uh, learn about osteochondritis. Firstly, it is divided into two types guys. Uh, one is crushing or push type and the second one is traction or the pull type. Okay. Coming to the crushing or the push type, you have many names that you need to remember. Whereas in traction, there are only two, uh, two to three names that you need to remember. So first, let us learn that traction part. So that one uh, portion will be completed, right? So firstly, Osgood Schlatter. Schlatter has two T's in it. So it is for tibial tuberosity, guys. So Osgood Schlatter is for tibial tuberosity, T and T. Coming to Sievers disease. So remember it like severe, okay? So whenever someone is severe or someone is under severe disease or undergoing a severe process, we call it as critical, right? So severe is critical. So cull here is calcaneum, okay? Severe, critical and cull which is calcaneum. So when there is calcaneal osteochondritis, we call it as severe disease. Coming to johansson larsen syndrome, it is due to inferior pole of patella's osteochondritis. See, patella has LA, Larsen syndrome. So johansson larsen is inferior pole of patella so this completes the traction type guys now let us uh, understand the crushing or the push type so when we talk about crushing or the push type when we uh, when there is osteochondritis of capitulum it is called as panners disease so remember it like a pen cap so panners is capitulum pen cap coming to lunate remember it like lock the box lunate is lock the box because this box is keen box Lock is lunate. Lunate is lock the box. This box is keen box. So keen box disease is osteochondritis of lunate. Whereas Panner's disease is osteochondritis of capitulum. Coming to Sherman's disease. R for R which is ring epiphysis of the vertebra. So Sherman's disease is ring epiphysis of the vertebral osteochondritis. Coming to navicular. Remember it like navicolar. Pronounce it as navicolar. So it is Kohler's disease. This navicular. Cola, uh, I mean navicular bone, when it is involved in children, it is called as navicola, whereas in adult, it is called as muller vis. So, how to remember that means M is men and W is women. Okay. So, men and women are adults, right? So, adult navicular bone osteochondritis is called as muller vis, whereas children one is called as navicolar or navicular. Coming to metatarsals, guys, you have uh, two different names that you need to remember in metatarsal involvement. So, firstly, remember an iceberg, guys. So, when you talk about an iceberg, this ice resembles eileen. And berg is Freiburg, guys. Okay. So, this eileen here. Oh, this is not going. One second. Yeah. So, eileen is fifth metatarsal base, guys. Okay. So, iceberg has a base, right? So, first word is for base. Eileen is fifth metatarsal base. Whereas, Berg, that is Freiburg, is two, three and four metatarsal heads. Because iceberg, tip of the iceberg, we say, right? So, head of the iceberg. So, metatarsal heads is for Freiburg. Whereas, base, base is ice, that is Eileen. Okay, I think this is clear. And in this Freiburg also, most common... Uh, bone that we indicate is second metatarsal guys so second metatarsal is most commonly the term that we use freiburg is for second metatarsal and this freiburg is otherwise called as Kohler's number two disease this i do don't know i i just got to know from that screenshot so Kohler's number two disease is called as freiburg so remember second metatarsal is given utmost importance here Kohler's number two disease and two is for second metatarsal head that is indicative of Freiburg. Whereas Eileen is iceberg's base. So metatarsal base. So that's all guys. Uh, this completes the mnemonics of all the types of osteochondritis. Which are divided into crushing type and uh, traction type. Now let us uh, look at this uh, screenshot that is shared on the group also. See. Firstly 
Osgood Schlatter has two T's, right? So tibial tubercle, okay, or tuberosity. Then coming to Severe's disease, Severe is critical, critical is calcaneal, done. Then Kohler is Navic Kohler, remember it like Navic Kohler in children and men and women are adults, so Navicular in adults is Muller Weiss. Coming to Freiburg disease, remember it like iceberg, right? So there is another disease that you need to remember that is Eileen, I have discussed. Eileen, ice is for base, so metatarsal base, whereas Freiburg is for head. That to second metatarsal head. So remember it like Kohler's number two disease for second metatarsal head. Coming to keen box, it is like lock the box, right? So keen box is lock the box. Lock is lunate. Come to Sherman's R is for vertebral end plate ring apophysitis. This is Sherman's. And the leftover disease is uh, like called Perthes disease. Guys. So Perthes disease is uh, so famous, right? We get many questions on Perthes disease. This all of us know that it is of femoral head. Leccal Perthes disease is a femoral head. And Chandler's disease, guys, uh, this is also a new term for me. Uh, if you watched Friends series, you know that Chandler is an adult, right? So Chandler's disease is for femoral head of adults, whereas Leccal Perthes is for femoral head of children. So this completes all the important uh, osteochondritis names. And please let me know in the comment section if you liked this video. I just made the mnemonics for this topic. Thank you. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, don't you think so? This is the time to subscribe because you are getting many short and crisp videos for all the difficult topics. And the links to the Telegram channel are also provided in the description below. Please go check their ones. Bye-bye.